Hello all my makeup boos, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. This is LaVon here, also known as LaVon Beauty. I'm here with my friend Brianna and we are going to be doing a fall cranberry crush makeup tutorial. So stay tuned for this checkup from the neck up and let's get this glam started. Here we go. KISS New York Pro Hexa Palette has exceptional color payoff. I started with the deepest shade and created a halo, which means placing the deeper shade in the crease in the inner corner with a lighter shade in the center of the lid with a pressing motion instead of sweeping. Next, I'm applying Chanel Cold Pencil. Do this first before gel liner because it gives the liner longevity and more precision so that when I go in with my MAC black track, I can use quick, short strokes right on top of the pencil liner, and it's mistake proof. I can make the line as precise as I want it. I'm gonna clean up any fallout with Bioderma micellar water. I always do eyes first for this very reason. 15 pumps always, going in with CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara, using the Mirabelle Shield. This sturdy tool keeps mascara off the lids and gently holds the eyelid. Cruelty-free silk lashes are by Mademoiselle and I'm using Mimi with callous glue. Always cut and measure the lash so it fits the base of the lid. Too long makes the eyes look downcast, too short makes the eyes look too small. Going in with AJ Crimson Dual Skin Cream Foundation, I'm using shade 4 for complexion, I'm going to use shade 5 for contour, and shade 3 for highlight. I'm applying it with a dual fiber brush, but I also like applying this with a beauty blender or a blush brush. This is the shade N3 for highlight and conceal in an inverted triangle, blending out, keeping it really close to the lash line, letting it melt into the complexion color. I do the chin as well, the bridge of the nose, and in between the eyebrows. This is corrective beauty. Now I'm going in with shade five for the contour, not going lower than the nose and not going further in than the outer corner of the eye. This will lift up the cheeks. Next, I'm using Sasha Buttercup. It is my new no flashback setting powder, AKA Black Lucent. <laughs> I'm now gonna use a Medina Crystal Glass Powder. This is one of a kind. It's only found in Milan, Italy. It goes on and sets foundation and is absolutely translucent. I'm also using another product by Medina Milano called the Chic and Shine Stick in Gold. Warmed up on my ring finger, I tap it into the skin and it makes the skin look like it's lit from within. I use this on almost every client. Comes in two shades. Next, I'm gonna go in with MAC Cosmetics Sweetest Cocoa on the cheeks, hitting it right along the cheek contour, but then also applying a little bit to the apples of her cheeks. Back to diffuse under the eye with the halo shade from Kiss New York Pro Hexa Palette. I'm gonna blur out the bottom lash line. I like to mix the colors just to give a little bit more dimension. I forgot to show you the lip liner, but it was current from MAC. It is a makeup artist kit necessity. I wrote a blog post on my favorite MAC lip pencils on the checkup from the neckup.com. You'll have to check the link below on that post. Using short strokes for precision, but with a small tapered synthetic brush, I'm going to blur the lip liner. Soft matte cream lip in Transylvania by NYX. When you blur the lip liner into the lip color, that is what creates an ombre lip. It doesn't have to be super intense. This is a little bit more natural, but because it is a soft matte cream, it looks beautiful when complete. 
There's another video on the channel of me doing a one minute ombre on myself with all NYX products. I'm going to finish this look with a highlighting spray by OM Glow in Coffee. Here is the final look. What do you guys think? Give me your thoughts and comments below. Tell me what you learned, if I taught you something new today. And also, what did you learn? What did you like the most? What was your favorite part? I think my favorite part is the lips. The lips? Love did the, the nice burgundy ombre lip, but applying it with a brush makes it a little bit less precise and makes the look a little bit more diffuse. That was a new little trick you learned, right? Beautiful. Yes. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. More videos to come. Stay tuned for my next checkup from the neck up with LaVon Beauty. Bye.